you've put together an audio podcast or just want to know some simple audio editing tricks, stick around. I'm Ayaz Akhtar, and today I'm going to show you how to edit your podcast. I'm going to assume you've got a couple of things already, an audio file of your show and the free audio editing application called Audacity. Now, we've got a fantastic recording I did earlier today. Hey, welcome to my exciting brand new show. I don't have a title for it, so we're just going to continue talking. Audacity shows your audio in waveforms. When you're editing, you're going to have to listen to your whole show a number of times. So get comfortable with your recorded voice. Trust me, it's not so bad. Anyhow, as you're going through your show, find areas you want to snip out. Things like table hits or the word um. So I'm looking at my audio file here. I'm going to play back some of the audio. On a show where um, I don't really know. There's the dreaded um. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select the um right here, and I'm going to hit delete. I'm going to go back a few seconds to hear if it sounds natural or not between the things I was saying. Lighting on a show where I don't really know why it sort you of do works, that, but let's talk about it in audio anyway. Make sure you save frequently. I'm going to hit save now. Repeat this process until you're satisfied. Now you'll export your audio by going to File, then Export, then give your file a name. Now we're going to need another piece of software called Levelator. Be forewarned that this application is no longer supportive as of 2012, but a quick web search will bring you to an archive.org site that still hosts the application. So why am I suggesting it if it's so old? Because it automatically will level out your audio file. So if you were off mic or whispering, the audio levels would be brought up to suitable volumes so the audience can hear you. To use Levelator, take that exported file you made and just drag and drop it on top of the Levelator window. Levelator will make a new file and place it in the same directory as your source file. You could be done here, but let's get some intro music. Please do not just clip out a piece of your favorite song and use it as your theme without permission. It can get your whole episode taken down. Instead, I suggest doing a search for Creative Commons music or checking out a repository of Creative Commons music like at Vimeo. We've already downloaded our intro song and clipped it to a suitable length. Don't make your intro music beyond 30 seconds, please. Your audience wants to hear from you. Let's open up Audacity again and place our intro music along with our Levelator output file. Hey, welcome to my exciting brand new show. Since we don't want the music and our show to take up the same space, use the time shift tool, that's the one that looks like a double arrow, then drag your show audio near the end of the music. Hey, welcome to my exciting brand new show. I'd like to have a cool fade out of the music while my show starts, so here's how you do that. Select the portion of music you want to fade out, then choose Effect, then Fade Out. You'll see the waveform change to match. Hey, welcome to my exciting brand new show. I don't have a title for it, so we're just going to continue talking. Listen Today to your edit, and if you like your work, hit Export. Now you've got an uncompressed, edited version of your show. There are a lot more steps from here before we can post this amazing show online, and we'll have a follow-up for that soon. I'm Ayaz Akhtar, and for more tips and tricks, visit cnet.com slash howto.